What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the uh, Chicago Blackhawks trading uh, Power Play with CJ fan. Humble brag. Uh, Adam Clendenning to the Vancouver Canucks in exchange for 18-year-old Swedish defenseman Gustav Forsling, who's playing for Linka Ping in, uh, in Sweden. It was a pretty good... Had a... Um, you know, pretty good uh, run of it with the uh, with the Swedish WJC team. I think it's you know a good move for both Clendenning and the um, Vancouver Canucks, and to a lesser degree the Blackhawks. Because here's the thing: a lot of the prospects they've developed have turned into pretty decent players in other situations. So you look at Jimmy Hayes and you know guys like that. And I mean, to a lesser degree, Jeremy Moran. These guys get lost in the shuffle. I know Moran hasn't really lit the world on fire with the Blue Jackets, but you know I think. If given an opportunity on a team like Vancouver, that could use some help on defense, um, you know, long and short term. And I think being able to give a guy like this that's proven everything he has to at the AHL level, consistent nice time in the NHL, you can really see what he can develop into um, as a pro player on the line. And, you know, at 22 years old, I think he's a more well-polished than he gets credit for on both sides of the puck. And, um, you know, I just think it was kind of like one of those things with the Blackhawks where they know what he is and they know that it's a tight squeeze getting him into the team. So they trade for a guy that might be a similar type player down the line. You know, not the biggest transaction, but one that's that's not worthy. Um, I think, he, honestly, he's going to help the Canucks win a lot of hockey games. I think he's a big-time player. I think his offensive acumen is off the charts. And, again, I think his defensive acumen is a little more polished than he's uh, gotten credit for. I think he's got a little more tenacity and sandpaper in his game than he gets credit for. You know, if you watch him play like I have since his days with the U.S. Dome team through his time at Boston University, now into the pro ranks, you see what he's all about. And I, you know, I remember watching him play with the U.S. development team um, you know, five years ago, then during his two years at BU, you know, really being a, a really good, you know, guy that got a lot of ink offensively, but, you know, played tough defensive minutes with Jack Parker Starius for two years, so let's, you know, let's call it what it is, and, um, you know, I think, again, he's going to continue to develop, um, and getting ice time in the NHL will be a very big step for him, you know, being able to consistently go out there against the best players in the world every night will help make him a better hockey player in the long term. And again, I just think it's a great situation for all three parties, you know. Clenny gets a fresh start, the Canucks get a good player, and the Blackhawks get a prospect that, you know, could be in a similar situation in, in three, four years. So, you know, kind of not not the biggest loss in the world for the Hawks. And not that that's a knock on the player, but the Swedish kid's pretty good. And, you know, worst case scenario, you know, he doesn't help you. But, um, you know, with the depth the Blackhawks have, it's tough to crack that team. Um and, you know, we saw with Jimmy Hayes, and part of the reason Kevin Hayes didn't sign with the Hawks was good luck cracking that roster, you know, consistently getting ice time in the NHL. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But, again, I'm really happy for Adam. Good kid, um, good guy, you know, good, really good person off the ice. So, you know, good to see him having success in the show. Anyway, that's like I got sort of the power play with CJ on the uh, Chicago Blackhawks trade and Adam Clendenning. Stay tuned for episodes through the season and beyond. Later, guys.